In order to tell my ode to the Cincinnati Bengals, I need to cover some backstory. Football and me have always had a pretty weird relationship. You see, I grew up in a town called Southlake near Dallas, Texas. And in Southlake, one thing and one thing only is king, the Southlake Carroll Dragons, Southlake's world-class high school football team. So growing up in Southlake, it was expected that boys would play football once they were in fourth grade, and that one day, if they were good enough, they joined the high school team. Well, that fourth grade day happened for me. I got put into a program called Dragon Youth Football, and for my first season ever as a real tackle football player, I would be playing on the Green Dragons. I played football from fourth grade until eighth grade, and to be frank, while there were times that were a lot of fun, in general, it wasn't the best experience. I am, and I was, a very small human being. During my second year of football on the Gold Dragons, my coaches put me in at nose guard. Here's a photo of a typical nose guard. Here is a photo of me. Do you notice anything different? Yeah, the thought process of the coaches was that I'd be able to slip by the center and get into the backfield. One of my coaches, Coach Ron, told me to laugh or like snarl at the opposing center, so I did, and they gave me the nickname Chucky. Anyways, this strategy works just about as well as you'd expect. Tiny, frail, puny, pathetic me would get shoved into the dirt. There would be times where I'd get into the backfield, but since I don't have a lot of meat on my bones, I found tackling people pretty hard. Normally, I just cling on to them like a koala until a bigger teammate would finish them off. Now, I did have good times playing football, and I think a lot of that I can attribute to my friends and to my coaches that I played with. But... I was never really the best football player, to be quite honest. Now, with all that being said, there's a whole other aspect to this entire story. It's my dad and his love for football. You see, my dad is one of the most passionate Dallas Cowboys fans I have ever known. And growing up, Sunday nights and the Dallas Cowboys were a staple in my house, even if I didn't watch too much football back then. I remember once that my dad had this horrible nosebleed. I mean, his nose would just not stop bleeding for anything. It was pretty scary, and he had to go to the ER. I remember being scooped up by my next-door neighbors so that my parents could go to the ER. And lo and behold, the Dallas Cowboys were on. Cowboys were playing the Tennessee Titans, and I remember praying that the Cowboys would win so that my dad would feel better. And by a miracle of God and Jerry Jones, they sure did. But yeah, I'd characterize my time playing football and being around football when I was growing up as being mentally formative, but not necessarily the most fun. As I said, there were fun times, but I think overall it was kind of that love-hate relationship between me doing well and having fun with friends, and then getting plowed into the ground. So this idea of the love-hate relationship stuck with me until college, but after watching the good old Baylor Bears for five years now, I am officially a football fan again, and let me tell you what, I love it. Okay, so what does any of this have to do with the Cincinnati Bengals? Well, during all of this time, I was raised as a Cowboys fan. I still am, they're my favorite team, and it formed my sincere and heartfelt hatred of the Philadelphia Eagles. I would unironically root for the Soviet Union Miracle on Ice team before I'd root for the Philadelphia Eagles, but let's get back on track. Being the kid that I was, I decided that I needed a second favorite team. Now, the process of choosing my second favorite team way back in 2007 was to be a science. I mean, hey, it's not every day that you get to choose your second favorite team. So being the young lad of science and reason and intellect that I was, I turned on my Nintendo DS, put in Madden 07, and chose the team with the coolest uniform to a nine-year-old boy. And that was the Cincinnati Bengals. And as it turned out, I chose the Cowboys, but in Ohio. (laughs) So yeah. Well, as the years have gone by since 2007, the Bengals have always swirled around in the back of my head. If I see them playing, I'll always stop and watch for a bit, and I can't say that for 30 other teams in the NFL. And I still, to this day, love the Bengals' uniforms. And as I've grown up, I've developed a soft spot for the city of Cincinnati in the process, particularly because of how it got its name. Ever since I learned about Rome and Cincinnati, and regardless of his story being true, like a fact or a myth, It's made me like the Bengals all the much more. So go on, you brave Bengals, go win. I hope you know that there's a guy way out in the middle of nowhere in West Texas who will be on the edge of his seat watching y'all as y'all play in the Super Bowl. And if you lose, it won't all be for naught. You'll have proved to the world that you can make it and that next time you'll be able to take it home. I'll keep rooting for us, if you allow me to use the word us just this once. And next time, I'll be all the more excited to watch the Bengals in the Super Bowl. And if you win... The pride of Cincinnati will be shared with football lovers the world round. And in my chair, holding a shiner, 
A single tear will roll down the face of some Texas boy as I watch my second favorite team win the Super Bowl. Go Bengals.